Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to cut holes into your sculpt. Uh, if you know of an easier, cleaner way, then by all means, please let me know. So I'm going to start by opening up Sketch Club and creating a new square document. You can use any uh, art app to do this, really. We're going to create an alpha, so fill the background with black, and then switch the paint color to white. Select the pen tool, circle, and set symmetry. Now I'll create a circle and then fill it with white. Now save the alpha to your files. It'll be in your photos. I save it as a PNG. Now we're going to go and open back up Nomad Sculpt. Let me clear all this stuff. And create a new project and I'm gonna use a cylinder because it's the best for this example I find it easiest if you squish it down the uh, the results seem to be better so we validate and then use a gizmo to squish it let me get all this stuff out of the way Now subdivide a couple times to get more geometry and then snap view to make sure that it's centered. Now we're going to import our alpha that we created. And drag it and then you'll see that did not it's that's not right one more time so we drag it then we see it protruding out of the bottom so now we take the trim tool and trim off the bottom half with the protruding part. And this is tricky because I'm actually on a train right now and it's uh, hard to get a straight line. Good enough. Alright, now as you see there's still a layer there so we're going to go ahead and turn up the remesh and remesh it. And now you have a hole. Hopefully this helps some of you guys. And like I said, if you know of an easier, cleaner way, uh, please let me know. I'm going to just do a few more practices and show you guys. Uh, we'll try to do it with a square this time. So go back into sketch club use a square tool again with a black background and uh, white ink selected create the squares with symmetry fill it in save it to your photos I uh, you save it as a PNG but I think you could do JPEG as well Now go back into Nomad Sculpt and Snap View. Import the alpha. There is a square alpha already, but I'll show you that that doesn't cut all the way through for some reason. Let me select that. See, this is the stock one. It's it looks cleaner, but it. It doesn't do the job, so we will select ours. I usually uh, flatten that as much as I can, but we will see. This may be a little too thin. I think 
again. Bear with me. This is all practice. I'm learning as I go. So you can see it protruding. Yeah, this is uh, this is gonna be tough on this shaky train. Um, this might be a little too thin, so let me make it a bit thicker. Oop, that's not what I want to do. There we go. See, there's still the layer there, so we're going to turn up the remesh, the voxel remesh, and remesh it. And now you have a square hole. Hopefully this helps you guys. Um, any tips you have for me, please feel free to comment. All right, that's it.